Welcome to Hometown Homepages, the series where we give small business websites a much needed facelift using my favorite website builder, Webflow. I'm Maddie, and in this season, we're making over homepages from my town, Littleton, Colorado. This is episode two, Littleton Flower Shop. The place was really cute. I feel like after looking at the website, I wouldn't have expected it to be such sort of high price points. So I feel like the website could definitely be updated, be less outdated, maybe more like trendy and high end. You can definitely tell that this site is outdated just from a first glance. There's lots of little styling things we can do to give it more life and make it a little bit more high end so that people are willing to pay that top dollar for these bouquets. Based on the research I did, almost half of the people that visited this site were not at all interested in checking out the business. I got a lot of feedback that people did like the content of this site. There was a lot of straightforward information about pricing and all of that, so we wanna make sure we don't lose that. But people agreed it feels really outdated and crowded. People also do not like this photography style. So we're gonna be spending some time finding images in Unsplash that are more on brand and really breathe some life back into this site. Before we get started on actually designing this site in Figma, I wanna sketch out some of what I'm thinking on my iPad here. We could go a little bit more modern with this. So I might actually play around with the logo a little bit. The logo is very, very outdated. So I'm just gonna put like a little spot here for where the logo will go. Thinking we can have the menu kind of broken out up top. I like how they currently show some product first thing on the website. Um, so maybe we keep that and we do sort of a list of the three best sellers. Um, kind of front and center here. And as I'm looking at this, I feel like maybe we need a nice header image. So I'm just going to scooch this down and maybe we do kind of like a modern shape here um, to house this header image in. Um, and this could be, you know, just like an image of some nice flowers. Um, just to really like get your attention and see how beautiful their bouquets are when you first enter the site. And because they're kind of an event uh, centered florist, um, people might want to go and talk to someone there, uh, give them a call, stop by, go pick up their flowers. So I think that it's important that we have a map here. Um, and you know, just their info. And lastly, we'll do some sort of footer at the bottom where maybe we have like an email sign up or something like that. All right, let's take this into Figma. Okay, so like I said, I kind of want to do a fun sort of header shape for this. So I'm just trying to figure out kind of how to make what I'm envisioning, you know? So let's find an image that we can throw in here. I think this one will work nicely. I worked on a slightly updated logo for this particular business. So I think this will be cute. All right, so I think we need to do occasions, flowers, so, oh. So for these icons, I'm using Font Awesome and it's really nice. I literally just typed in search there we go. <laughs> um, actually, I think the shopping bag should be over here. said in episode one, I'm definitely still learning when it comes to building in Webflow. In the last site, I tried to overlap two divs in order to get the effect of content over top of an image, but this time I found a way better way to do it. I actually gave the div a background image. So instead of two divs, you're just dealing with one, which is much simpler. I 
I also found a way to make this map component look like all one shape by placing two divs next to each other and rounding just two of the corners of the div on the left. I did something similar with this email input field too to make it look like the button is actually like inside and a part of the field like in my designs. I placed them right next to each other with no gap, set them both to 44 pixels high, and rounded just the two left corners on the field and just the two right corners on the button. This was such a good transformation in just one day. I really like how it turned out. If you enjoyed this episode, stay tuned for the next one. We're gonna be making over the homepage of a tea shop just down the street. So I'll see you guys there. Bye.